Hello crafty friends! My name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And in today's video, I will be debuting the newest sheet load of cards, March 2023. I hope you'll stick around, get a look at the printable, see the first set I made, and find out how you can download the freebie for yourself. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Can you believe it is time for one of our favorite days of the month, Sheetload of Cards Day? February has flown by, let me tell you. Well, I am super excited to be back today with a new sheet load. I want to give a shout out to any new viewers who might have found me through the Card Maker Success Summit over the weekend. I am so glad that you enjoyed my presentation and wanted to come back and get another sheet load of cards. I know that I had a great time learning from the other presenters, chatting with you during my live stream, and over on the Facebook group. Now, if you're new to sheet load of cards, this is a free printable that I put out each month for my subscribers and I give you a new sketch and then I tell you how to make the most out of your pattern paper and cardstock to get a sheet load of cards. This is usually anywhere between 6 and 12 cards depending on the sketch and the size of pattern paper we use. In today's video, I'll be sharing a look at the latest printable my first set and I'll tell you later how you can download the printable for free. Then tomorrow I will be back with the process showing you how I made my first set and my team of collaborators will be joining me with their first sets for the month. I do have everybody linked in that description box below. So if you aren't already subscribed here on YouTube or follow them on Instagram, I hope you'll go ahead and take a few minutes to do that so you're all ready for tomorrow. Are you ready to see the new sheet load of cards? Before I show you the new sheet load, I did have a special channel member shout out. I would like to say thank you and welcome to membership to my newest paper trimmer level member, Alice Ratcliffe. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you as well to all of my channel members. Channel membership is a great way to show your favorite creators that you appreciate what they do. Here on my channel, I have memberships starting as low as $1.99 a month. You can check out the join button below this video, or I do have a link in the description box to find out more about the perks and levels. Probably the most favorite perk, which does start at the $1.99 level, is the sheet load visual archive. You can see it up on screen now, and what it is is thumbnails of each month's sheet load with a direct link to download it. So if you're looking for past issues, you don't have to go back and watch all of the videos to find out the links and passwords. You have this one-stop shop as long as you are a member. Here is a look at the March 2023 sheet load. This month is a special edition where we are going to use our 6x6 pattern paper and we will be making 8 A2 cards if you follow the supply list and the cutting guides. To make those cards, you'll need 4 6x6 pattern papers, 2 plus solid card stocks for matting, and 4 solid card stocks for your card bases. Now, if you like the new layout, but you don't necessarily want to make eight cards, as always, I do give you the single card dimensions. This is gonna be a good one to use up those scraps because all of the pieces are pretty small. At the bottom, I give you alternative ideas of what to do with the sketch. You could use some layers with foam tape. You could rotate the sketch. You could switch out this sentiment for a piece of die cut ephemera feel free to make sheet load your own. 
Another thing I want to mention is if you want to show us your sheet load, there are three ways to do that. You can share a video here on YouTube or a post over on Instagram and make sure to use those two hashtags at the top of the printable. Or you can send in a card for the end of the month video. I will have a link to the show us your sheet load guidelines video in the description box and I can't wait to see what you create. As always, on page two of the printable are the cutting guides. I show you how to cut each of your six by six pattern papers and your cardstock. Now you will notice this month we do need a scrap and that's gonna be so you can finish out the sentiment strip here. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at the main supplies I'll be using for this month's card. Then I can show you that first set and tell you how to download the printable. In front of me are the main supplies that I use for this month's cards. For my pattern papers, I chose Doodlebug Designs My Happy Place 6x6 Paper Pad. I chose two sets of two patterns to go together. You could do this or you could choose two sets of the same. So you would have two of these cute little house pages and two of the gingham pages. That is up to you. Now, if it works out and you choose two different sets, you could also mix and match the pieces between the cards. For my sentiment, I use a combination of this Hero Art Stamp and Cut set with this Hello die from Stamp Anything. Now, I do realize that this came with a Hello die, but I liked how this one was just a bit bigger and bolder. Now to stamp the coordinating sentiment, I use Gina K Designs Jelly Bean Green. And for my card bases, I went with this green from my stash because it matched all of the papers that I had chosen. Now let's go ahead and take a look at my first set of cards using the March 2023 Sheetload of Cards printable. I hope you enjoyed that little look at my first set of cards using the March 2023 sheet load of cards. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now let me tell you how you can download the free printable. If you would like to download this month's printable, as always, I do ask that you're a subscriber to my channel. We just go on the honor system here, so I won't make you email me any proof or sign up for anything. Please just make sure you have clicked on that subscribe button if you're going to click on the PDF download. You are going to find this month's link down in my description box right below the related supplies list. Below the link, it will say to watch the video for a password, but you taking the time to watch this far is the password. You can download it to your device and print it, or you can download it and just view it on screen while you're crafting. Until my next video, which will be tomorrow's process, and my team of collaborators will be joining me, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.